Hello, everyone. It's been a minute. Upload schedule? Who? Consistency? I don't know her. Today, a few days ago, last week, two weeks ago, I came up with the brilliant idea, drunk animal drawing. I figured what better way to combine my attempts at becoming a better artist with my love for animals and useless animal facts together under the influence of alcohol. So I'm here today, this wonderful glass of wine. <laughs> I have some fucking pizza. <sighs> Drunk animal drawing. I'm gonna drink a considerable portion of that amount before I start. Disgusting! So if you're someone who has ever wanted to get some hot tips on drawing, because you somehow have been fooled into thinking I'm a decent artist. Or you're someone who wants to know what it's like to hang out with me drunk. Then you should watch this video. It's Saturday. I've got nowhere to be. It's just me and my thoughts. And this is what my thoughts are telling me. So be gone. <laughs> Create the content when you're drunk. Edit when you're sober. If you're ever in a social function that you don't want to be at, and you have to drive home, take an empty water bottle, show up, and fill it up with your alcohol, drive home, and drink it when you get home. Life Pro Tips from Kareem. We are done! Okay. Let's get the show started. What we are drawing is something called the Hotzin, the Hoatzin. It's a bird. This is the Hoatzin. Here we go. So I am using this reference image to figure out how the fuck I'm going to draw this thing. Here's what I'm going to do. I've never drawn this motherfucker before. I'm also not that good at drawing animals. Here's what you do. I'm on the wrong goddamn lair. Look at this. Look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break this bitch down into basic shapes. Circle. Triangle. You see this curvy line? I'ma trace it. Because that's the fucking neck. We're gonna pretend to know what the fucking god is happening with his body. We're going to guess like the basic shape. Pow! 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 Because those are called confident lines even if they don't look that great. Confident lines look good because look, it's just like, compare this to this, 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 this. This is the Regina George. That's the popular one. It's this, just, it looks nice. This is fine. If you're at this level, that's fine. Eventually though, try to get to this level. Bam, 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 bam. Instead of, you know, trying to make the perfect square um, unless you want it to look like this if this is what you want then go for it if you don't want this then no you know do your own style but I would recommend trying to aim for this because this will help you and it will get you to the point where you can just fucking draw that and you'll be happy with it <laughs> you want loose lines I have been accused by teachers of being too loose because I just don't give a fuck and I don't care as much as I should. So that's something I'm working on. To slow down and maybe just take my time. I'm not gonna take my time. What did this accomplish besides maybe nothing? I am drunk. What this accomplished? I know there's a circle. There's a triangle. There's a weird S. A body. And his wings look like this and his tail looks like this weird shape triangle look look at this simple shapes i've unlocked the code i can draw him this is four years of art school and ten years of fucking around before art school and four years fucking around after art school <laughs> Now I'm gonna start drawing. How am I gonna draw this? Y'all already know how I'm gonna draw this because I already told y'all how I'm gonna draw this. Now we're gonna draw. All right, fuck. <laughs> so 
I already know there's a circle here. I'm gonna draw his beak. You notice I'm doing the exact same thing I told you you should do because this is how I figure out my drawing. Legs are kind of like a weird triangle. Characteristics of this bird that makes it different from other birds. This. Whoop, 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 whoop. Now this bird, the Hoatzin. Why did I pick it? This motherfucking bird. I'm just fudging these fucking details. This is just a sketch. It's just a sketch. Like, it's not serious. None of this is serious. This animal is amazing because babies have fucking fingers on their wings. Can you believe that? So, like, wings are already modified hands, basically. Let's get it right. They basically are. Greek word for this bird's class taxonomy, whatever the fuck you want to call it, means hair like behind the neck or some something like that. That's hilarious. This is the only bird in its in its class, in its taxonomy. It's like so weird because no other bird's babies it has little claws. And the reason it does is because they live in the rainforest. This is also the national bird of Guyana. I have to put that in there because that's pretty cool. And the reason it has those is because it lives in the rainforest and like the river is everywhere and it has sometimes it falls out of the nest and sometimes so like its greatest predator is something called like the great black hawk which is a weird name but you know we're gonna go with it that's what the scientists call it i wonder what the birds call it maybe like oh fuck and and like sometimes they'll like plop down from the vines to escape being eaten and they'll drop into the river and then after the fact they have to climb out of the river so, you know what, that's, that's why they made these claws. Now, some people think these birds, this is what I learned just now, you can read the Wikipedia article if you don't believe me, or if, if you're, like, you're like, where the fuck is this bitch getting her information? People used to think that they were like related to, what's it called, Ar Archaeop Archaeopteryx, the, the, dinosaur bird. So they think they're related to that. You know what I'm talking about. Scientists thought the reason why it had those claws is because it was like a direct descendant. But that's not true. They think now, after analyzing all this DNA that I don't understand, they think that it came like, it's this word, I don't remember the word. I, I'm just not going to remember it for you. The concept is, it evolve something that's like hidden in the DNA code and it thinks oh we need something to help our babies that keep popping into the water what can we use to help them get back out of the water and they're like wait a minute great grandpa our archaeopteryx had this thing why don't we use that? And they're like, you know what? It's in the fucking DNA code. Why not? Though that's the claws that they use. And like, it literally looks like this. It looks like a fucking bat. So that's what the babies look like. So that's what they use. They were like, old great grandfather, Arche Ar Archaeopteryx. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Used it. And, and we need we need something similar and so we're gonna use it because it's in the family archive so that's what we're gonna do okay, so now I'm drawing surface stuff but I have the skeleton as a base so it's okay we're just I don't know what I'm doing any more than you do maybe maybe you know you know more about what to do but I definitely don't know but basically it found something in the source code and was like we can use this and then it used it and I think that's really cool Imagine if humans could do that. What if we were like, we suddenly need to see in the dark? And I was like, well, the Neanderthals or the previous humans could do that. Why don't we do that? And they were like, you know what? That's really not a half bad idea. Let's do that. It's like, it's like good conservatism, kind of. Different color. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like buzzed. Birds are hard because they're like people, but they're not like people. The best part about being an artist is you can claim artistic license on fucking everything. If it doesn't look exactly like the photo, you can just say, I wanted it to look like this. And then no one can argue with you because you're an artist. This is the amazing thing about Photoshop, is you can just, you can just fucking change anything however you want. At this point, I don't know what else I can do. 
No one's perfect. Here's like our real sketch. Let's use a different color. Let's use green. Let's fuck some shit up. Let's go green, you know? I'm, all right, you know what? I'm using that method I told you not to use before. I'm doing this, this method. I'm kind, it's kind of like this, but like a more advanced version. So you know what? Just fucking ignore what I'm saying and do whatever you want. I'm not even looking at the reference now. I'm going off of what I've drawn. I have to trust my sketch layer. Those babies fucking rewrote their DNA to include old dinosaur DNA, which is amazing. These birds are so weird that scientists are still debating on what class to put them in. And right now they're just in their own class because they're, they're just like that. These birds are like cows. They have a stomach that ferments what they eat, just like cows do. And I recently learned this part is called the crop. It's like, why is your chest so big? Well, it's because that's the crop and that's where like they store their food or some bullshit. These birds balance themselves using that crop. I don't know exactly how that works, but that's what Wikipedia told me. If the wing is the hardest part and I hate it already. This is just as frustrating for me as it is for you. Some of these feathers aren't even fucking, like, in size order. This is what we're gonna go with. I'm not gonna touch it anymore, because if I do, I'm gonna literally lose my mind. Now, just like eyeliner, you wanna find, like, match the angle. And just like eyeliner, I'm not good at it. I'm realizing his tail is gonna be too goddamn thick if I do it like that. And I'm gonna try something revolutionary and keep the goddamn bird on the page. Now, at this point, the sketch layer is useless. None of this is good drawing advice. I'm doing a terrible job right now, but if you find this helpful, then I'm so happy that you do, because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just sketching this goddamn tree for like the 15th time because I can't make up my mind on what I want this picture to look like. I'm gonna do something called cheating. This is our finished sketch layer. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do some line art. Does that sound intimidating? Yes, it does. It's intimidating to me. I can barely see myself. I'm operating at 15 frames per second. And maybe 20. It's okay. Now, do I like this? No. You wanna know why I don't like this? I don't like this because the opacity is not 100%. See, look at that. Ooh. This isn't gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be something. Line art is my least favorite part. After that is drawing with coloring. Look at this goddamn mess. The secret to line art is to simultaneously not give a fuck while giving a fuck. Birds have weird eyeballs. They just do. That looks terrible, but we're gonna go for it. At this point, finished is better than perfect. I'm gonna draw some extra lines just because I want to. How does this look? It looks okay. And then draw this line. This is the most frustrating part. This is where you have to learn line control. You know, this part, these feathers, they're not gonna look good you right now this is the first time i've ever drawn this fucking bird i'm not gonna get it perfect and that's okay birds have this weird like whoa i've got a semicircle and then i've got fingers you know boop, boop. so another cool thing about these birds is the babies have really long feet which helps them stand on the reeds that is such a good line it doesn't have to look just like the picture because then why are you drawing if it looks just like the picture if you're still watching this, thank you. I appreciate it. Look at that! How beautiful is that? Does it look just like the reference? No, but it looks like how I want it to look. And that's good enough for me. Be like Bob Ross. Do whatever you fucking want. I know so many people are more talented than me. But if you keep thinking that you're not good enough because there are so many people more talented than you, you're not gonna get anywhere because they still don't draw like you.
only you can draw like you. Look at that, more dynamic, beautiful. Things that are thicker will appear to be more in the forefront than things that are thin. Is this the best line art in the world? No. But it's what we're gonna end up with because I'm inebriated and I actually kinda like it. So that is the line art of the Hoatzin. There's lots of different ways you can color this. I'm not good at coloring. I'm just gonna do a base color, a shadow, and a highlight. First, let's do the background. I don't like it. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't like it. Welcome to part two of coloring our Hoats and Lion Art. We're gonna leave it at this, or otherwise it's gonna be a goddamn disaster. You know what, actually, let's be bold. We're gonna live with that. That's gonna be our truth. This branch is fucking... This color, I've learned. Best way to go is to make this, make the biggest size you can get. Now I'm gonna do this goddamn Hoatzin. Controversial opinion. Some people do colors on separate layers. Some people do body parts on separate layers. We're gonna try. Everything on one layer except for the shadows and the highlights. And I told you once, I'm gonna tell you again. I am not good at coloring. So this looks like a hot mess after I color it. That's why I'm gonna tell you right now. But we're all in this together. We're learning this together. And that's the important part. I don't know why I picked this color. It just seemed good. Ooh, we got some orange over here too. The fuck? Sure, why not? Some people put textures on their brushes. I'm not one of those people. I don't know how to use them yet. There's no blending as you can see because I'm not there yet. You see this? This is awful. This is god awful. I promise I won't look as awful. His eyes are red like murder. Why is it blue? You know what I don't understand? How do these animals decide what color to make certain features? Did like the female version of this decide it really liked blue? So I'm gonna go back and fix it. <laughs> now, did anyone see Eurovision today? Let me tell you. I wanted Estonia or Norway to win. I thought Estonia technically had the best song. It was beautifully written, beautifully sung, was giving me fifth element vibes, which is always a good thing. And her dress, I was screaming. Like, we were speechless during that performance. It should have won. It reminded me of Ukraine's winning entry, which I know is controversial on Tumblr because people have no musical taste whatso fucking ever. I wasn't upset that Israel won. Because the song is very Eurovision. What I was upset with was that Israel TBH kind of culturally appropriated bits of Japanese culture. And it made no sense to the song. Like, like, I don't understand why she had all those lucky cats there. I don't understand why she was wearing, like, a really revealing kimono. Like, remember that girl's prom dress controversy? Like, at least her dress was an actual dress, you know? Like, it was a literal chongsam. It wasn't altered. She found it in a store. She liked it a lot, and she wore it. If you compare that to what Israel did. It's worlds apart. Israel, it seems to me, Israel found a, decided like, I wanted to look Japanese because I like anime and, and I like the culture, but I don't want to wear an actual kimono. I want to vamp it up for some reason and show a lot of cleavage. And there's, let me give it this straight. There's nothing wrong with showing a lot of cleavage. There is something wrong with altering a kimono or any traditional garment for that matter to look sexier 
if you are not part of that culture. And that is what I'm gonna say in that matter. That was my only gripe. And it just felt weird to report. You have to keep going. It's not gonna look great on your first one. You have to be okay with it looking okay. This is honestly more of a therapy session for me. I don't know if anyone will watch this, but I am definitely getting something like it. Does this look fine? It looks okay. We're concentrating right now, so there's no commentary. Here's the base color. Does it look great? No. But it's what we have to work with. So I just realized this goddamn part is a fucking hot mess. We gotta fix it before we can continue. You know what? This is fine. I hate this right now, and we're not gonna get anywhere if we keep finagling with it. And my friend thinks this bird is a Pokemon, but it's not. What are we gonna do now? You ask. We are going to make this a multiply layer. And we're gonna put the opacity, let's say, at 50%, but we can make it less. There are many ways you can do this. You can either choose a color like purple to be your shadow, or you can choose the exact same color you want to be your shadow. And that's the lazy way of doing it, and that's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna put it on the bottom. Boom. 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 Because we are, what are we? We're lazy. That's right. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that, already so much depth to the picture. Beautiful, amazing. This feather is underneath these feathers, so I'm gonna make the illusion more convincing. We're gonna do something special. Go in under the wing. I'm gonna do the same kind of thing. Creative, beautiful, amazing. We already have some high definition shit going on here. Look at that! Already! It looks better than the shit we had before. I want this to look majestic. Now we've got some depth going on here. It's beautiful. It's art. This isn't exactly what it looks like, but you know what? I really like how this looks, so that makes me happy and that's all that matters. We're gonna pretend like we know where our light source is and go for it. How does this look so good? Because we're faking it. I'm just gonna keep doing whatever the fuck I want. Ooh, baby. This looks so developed. What are we gonna do next? We're gonna add fucking highlights. It's not perfect by any means. It won't win any awards, but I kinda like how it looks. It gets the job done. And until I learn a better method of coloring, this is what I'm gonna do. You know what color I'm gonna use? Just fucking white. We're at 53%, y'all. Here's what we're gonna do. Control click. Boom, perfect. Boom, perfect. I'm just going in, I'm gonna add a little bit of white to everything. I don't even know if I'm putting it in the right spot. Beautiful, because this is where the sun is shining. I'm not good at any lighting, but I do know this. I'm gonna put it in here. Oh my god. He's already got some white stuff going on here. So this is perfect. Wonderful. Oh, gorgeous. We've got our highlights and they look magnificent. Here we go. We're gonna have some of that in the feathers too. Because they should be there. I put it here. Really light in the middle. Because I think it deserves to be there. I think that looks pretty good, considering the state I'm in right now. I really like how this looks, and I think I get the point across. Ooh, look at that. Maybe I should go in at this. So now I'm gonna control select this tree and go here, and we're gonna go nuts. Now I'm just gonna add a little more. Just some darker. Darker than that. Even darker. And overall darker. Now we've got a tree branch. Already so much better than what we started with. Leaves. Leaves are gonna be so easy. I'm doing the dumb thing. It's not even right. At this point, we're too drunk to care. Look at that. We didn't even try, and it looks like that. Beautiful, gorgeous. It looks like a Hoatzin. We did it. I just drew an animal that I'd never drawn before. And I drew a picture that I wouldn't have drawn before either. So I'm pretty happy. 
Let's finish this Pinot Grigio in, in celebration. Let's give it up for this fucking weird bird that people think are related to dinosaurs. Those babies have claws on the tips of their fingers. If you ended up following along somehow to this drunk, half-rate Bob Ross demonstration, show me how your bird looks. I'd love to see it. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you enjoyed watching this, please give this video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel because I had a good time and I'd love to make more. Let me know what animal you'd like me to draw next because if you don't tell me, I'm gonna draw whatever the fuck I wanna draw. <laughs> I'm already looking at this finding things I don't like about it. We're gonna live with this because it's already better than not drawing anything. Thank you so much for watching. My hamster is awake. Have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Bye.